My name is Tanya Irby, and I am Cindy's mother. I'm J.C. Irby. I'm Cindy's father. When Cindy was about eight years old, she decided she wanted to ride horses. And that's all she ever talked about when she was younger. So we finally got her into, Tony got her into that when she was about eight years old. She started by having, you know, she's had every pet under the sun. She's had hissing cockroaches, and she's had rats and gerbils and hamsters and guinea pigs and dogs and cats and horses and snakes. Sid was younger, and her hobbies to start with was uh, basketball. They wanted her to play basketball because we knew she was going to be tall, but that wasn't her main interest in life. But anyway, she... Uh, when she's in high school, she got into, she was a cheerleader. And then she got into uh, track. She could pretty well outrun anybody she got up against. I never saw her ever give up, you know. She was always the person who, you know, if even if she got a grade that was not the best that she wanted, she would never give up. She just kept plugging and plugging and plugging until she, you know, kept back, coming back, and coming back, and coming back until she did what, you know, the best she could. And she was always willing to go that extra mile. Everybody that has ever come in contact um, with Sydney uh, has, has always said that, that she's not, uh, she's never been like other, um, uh, you know, other little kids or little children. She was never, uh, she was never her age. I mean, you know, that can be a little bit painful because, you know, she's, she was never, she did go to the dances and, and for the most part, she's never been a silly, you know, popular. She's always been for the underdog. She's, if, if there's somebody in the classroom she knows was being left out, then she will always be sort of sad looking at that person. I've never met anybody who had the, the whole, the whole ability to get up over what she's happening to her, and who wouldn't support somebody like that? I mean, there, there's no doubt in my mind. There's, there is no doubt in my mind that if you have somebody who's so willing to go suffer so much, and yet smile and laugh and ask you all the time, she always says, "How are you doing, Mrs. Zaboinski? You know, how are you doing?" And you know, every time she sees me, she does that. She's a lot older in the mind than most kids her age. Uh, she's a very sweet kid. Anytime I'm sick, she tries to make me feel better. So, you know, she's, she's got the compassion for other people. You know, no matter how bad she's, she is, she still feels bad for the uh, underdog, as we'd say. Mm -hmm. 